So I'm freshly washed and I am out of the shower. I use the pattern um, moisturizing shampoo, the heavy conditioner, and I use the leave-in. Um, I've used those products before. I actually started filming a video, but something happened and I never got to finish that video. But I did leave my thoughts on the product, so I'm probably gonna insert that right. Pattern Beauty, Tracy Ellis Ross. Launched this a few weeks ago and then it hit also on Sunday. I got the heavy conditioner for Coilies because I'm type four. I got the leave-in conditioner. And I got the hydrating shampoo. So let's see what this hydrating shampoo was talking about. And I also heard a little bit goes a long way. And I really don't have much hair, so I'm gonna start with this amount and see what we got going. Um, okay, so thoughts so far. It's pretty good. Um my hair just kind of like naturally untangled as soon as the shampoo hit it. I haven't combed this hair in like a week and detangled it, but I'm able to run my fingers through it. And then also, it doesn't be, seem to be that like lathery. Kind of reminds me like of Diva Curl, like the no poo. Okay, so I'm freshly shampooed. And then now I'm going to try the heavy conditioner for the coilies. And it says, it says for dry, brittle hair, leave in for like 10 minutes. Mm, I guess I can try that. And no, it's really thick. Like, it's not even moving. It's like thick, thick. So it says, let sit for 10 minutes. I'm gonna put a little cap over my head. All right, so 10 minutes. I will be back in 10 minutes. Now that that's done, putting this leave in. Okay, so it's like thick, but it's not too thick, but I don't like my leave-ins too thin and like watery. So I feel like this is gonna be just enough. I will say my hair feels really soft. It was a very soft I am back. I had something to do earlier today, so I forgot to put my clips in. Like after I let my hair dry, I let it air dry overnight, and it was pretty cute. I'm gonna insert a photo, and this is what my hair looks like in the front. This is the front. It's super soft. It's pretty defined, except for like in the areas where I like parted it and separated the curls. Like here was separated because I was making room for my little clips, but. Like as far as my little leave out right here, it looks good. I'm happy with it. I'm super satisfied. I think that it's great. Um, it is a little pricey. That set of three was $24. Um, you can get just as good quality um, with a different brand if it's not in your budget. I would recommend going it that way first before you make the whole thing. It is a pretty good line. I am just waiting for some stylers. That would be amazing. My assessment right now, is based on like my products but i will say that the leave-in did mix well with the curl primer and the gel there's no white cast there's no residue my hair is not even hard as far as if it's something that i would repurchase um i would i like the way my hair felt i like how the turnout was um it's pretty good it mixed well with the product um but what i really did like was the leave-in conditioner and typically when I style my hair, I do the leave-in for the moisture and a gel to lock it in and give it hold. Today what I'm going to be doing is reviewing the curl gel. And what happened with this was I thought I was getting the curl gel with the heavy curl gel and the, um, the moisturizing creamer in the same container. And I accidentally put that back thinking I had that. Ended up with this. So I'm actually going to try this in combination with another gel that I use. Um, because it has extreme hold. This one has a softer hold and my hair doesn't last with a soft hold. I got the edge control because, I mean, you can't really go wrong with the edge control. This one's supposed to be really good hold. And then I got the hydrating mist because when I style my hair, because I like that hold, it has a cast, so I'm gonna see what it's done. And then I also got styling tools. You know, originally she came out with this pattern brush, something like a Demon brush. Um, it's kind of expensive. But the detangling brush was kind of expensive. It was $17 by itself. So I kind of stayed away from buying it. I have a Demon brush, but I have a little one. 
because when I first big shop, my hair was shorter, but now that I'm getting longer, I was like, I guess I can get some adult size tool. I ended up buying this trio, um, the hair tools kit, which was $35. Came with the brush, came with this huge pick, which I think is the most adorable thing ever. And then it also came with like this comb right here to detangle. Pattern products are definitely a little pricey. It was about $65 for these essentially four items that I bought because this was a kit. Um, so I did buy them in trial size and plus I have so many products that I don't like to commit to big sizes unless I have to because you know I'm, I'm still trying it out to see if I like it. Let's take this off and get started. The leave-in is already in my head and I'm using that as my moisturizer for my hair underneath. I forgot a braid in my head. Jesus Christ. Huh. All right. Okay, there we go. You know what? Maybe I need to try this one first because that, that ain't getting it. Okay, much better. Uh-uh. Look, it's taking my hair out. Let me go get my wet brush. Be right back. I thought I detangled in the shower. Maybe not, but so I just came out of lock braids, so I ain't really combed out my hair good in a few weeks. So that helps. Let's try again. I don't know how I feel about these tools, to be honest. I'm gonna section my hair off though. So because I'm growing my hair out of a shortcut, my hair is a few different lengths. So in the back, when I start in the back, I do this part first because it's shorter than everything else. Now that everything is all separated, I'm gonna try this stuff out again. A lot better, a lot better. Put section off the back. When I squeeze out this gel, it's white, like almost like a cream, not even really gel. It has some good slip. Really good slip. I'm gonna add a little bit of the gel I like on top of it. A little brush. Brush it through. And I always just do a little shingle. can see so far it looks pretty good back there now that that's done I'm gonna spin around real quick so this is what the back is looking like so far and then I'm gonna continue with this piece right here and get to sectioning so I'm gonna add some, spray some water to it make sure it's detangled So I am basically almost done the little spin.
finally the last piece to the puzzle I usually style my hair going forward into the side I've been using this brush but I feel like because my hair was braided I haven't combed it in a while and the natural shed that's supposed to happen every day hasn't happened so this brush is literally like full of hair but also when I just go like this hair comes off I didn't really do a good detangle when I washed it what I did was I took a clarifying shampoo with a nozzle and I put it in my parts and I worked that in to really focus on like clarifying um, my hair and my scalp but I didn't do the best detangling so I feel like I'm paying for that now I brushed through it with a wet brush when I conditioned it but I honestly don't think that that was enough I get a really good bounce back and curl and this is just water So at this point, basically dry. I'm gonna remove my little clips and I'm gonna get to laying these edges. Where's my edge control brush? Be right back. And we're gonna see what this edge control, oh! It's yellow and it's really thick. It's really thick. creamy. I don't know nothing about that baby hair life. I'm really bad at it. This is going to be my one little baby hair scoop. Push the rest of this back. I always have bobby pins on my hair. Like for it to stay and do what it's doing. I'll add one over here too keep this separated so now I'm gonna take my pick and start fluffing this out literally just taking it and lift it because I'm not trying to create frizz just volume. So as I'm doing this, I'm realizing my hair is not fully dry, but it'll work. So it's not fully dry. I'll probably come back with my hair later on once it's fully dry and fully fluffed. Cause I feel like if I keep messing with it, it's gonna get frizzy on me. And right now I'm gonna say like the curls and definition that I have right now are popping. I'm gonna insert like some photos for you so you can see what it is. And I just came out of like straightening my hair. I straightened my hair and I went in a braid and then when my hair was straight, I braided it. So kind of stayed straight that whole time. Bounce back, my curls look really good. My hair looks really full. Normally I put pieces in my hair, but right now I don't feel like I need any. So what I will say is that it is an expensive line. Uh, this edge control, I really like it. I'm gonna say I with the edge control. The brush and the comb, I couldn't get through my hair at first, but I also think it's because um, of what my hair was going through. Like when I took my braids down, I didn't really fully comb it out. I didn't really detangle in the shower because I usually don't. 
but I, I took for granted the situation with my hair. You can see in some of the shots from before when I was combing it through, like my curls was popping. Um, so I think I like it. It just, my hair has to be in a detangled state and I can't use that. I don't know, I have to go back and revisit that. This pink is really, really big and it's really, really cute. And I think that right now, it's a little bit too big for the hair that I got, but as my hair is growing, I'm gonna have this big pick because all of like my brushes, my picks and everything thus far have been really tiny. This hydrating mist, I'm actually gonna spray some on right now. I usually spray this on in the morning when I refresh my hair before I pick it out. There we go. So I'll spray this on here right now and shake it um i do feel like my hair is going to get bigger and the edge control was 12 dollars. i feel like that's the only thing that costs as much as like a regular stuff usually costs but i messed with that too um it laid me down and gave me like my one good baby here and you know that's enough for me but that said you guys like what i recommend these products yes um i feel like if you have a shampoo and conditioner that you love already and it does your hair well leave it alone um if you want to try some new hair products like go for it um i used their products today and maybe two that's why my hair didn't comb out good now that i'm thinking about it because I, I it ain't never been this hard to comb out my hair but my hair came out really good so let's just say it, it might have been me it might have been the shampoo and conditioner um leave-in no the red the heavy conditioner is really thick it doesn't really have that much slip leave-in had a little bit of slip i'm gonna say the gel if anything had the most slip out of all the products i used today was the gel had the most slip um when i come through it it had my curls popping the most i definitely would use that gel again i definitely am going to be buying this edge control because i'm so happy like y'all don't know i'm so bad at baby hair this actually makes me feel good about my situation but um i think that she did a really good job with um, the products the quality i feel like the quality is really good like when i was combing my hair i instantly knew that it was gonna look good um once I did the back and I was like, this is gonna pop. So I'm excited to see what my hair looks like the next few days. But with that said, you guys, thank you so much for watching. If you're not subscribed already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button um, so that you can get more videos on hair, makeup, all those things. And until then, you guys, I'll see you in my next video. Mwah. Okay guys, so it's literally been a week, like as in seven days, I washed my hair last Thursday. I'm loving how my hair looks. It still holds up really well. Now I did refresh the front of my hair with the um, the moisturizing cream and the and the thick gel when I got them, but I don't know if you can see these pieces right here that are kind of like curly but straight. I don't know if because the product was too heavy on top of the product or what, but it kind of did that to my hair, and it made me not love it the way that I loved the other gel because it didn't do that to my hair. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna wash my hair completely and I'm gonna style my hair. With the moisturizing cream and the thick gel alone to see what it does so that i can figure out which one i really like and i'm also going to see if it was that brush in the comb or if it was just because i took my hair out of the braids and my hair was just shedding because i hadn't combed it in so long so i'll be right back